Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Bit of a different one today. We're going to have an unboxing. What a YouTube tradition. So, let's get cracking. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing. The more eagle-eyed of you might have noticed I've already opened up the wrong end. It specifically says open other end, but that was not enough to put me off. Um, so I'm now going to open it from the right end uh, and try and not get it to um, fall out to the bottom. So I ordered this from PMT. They're, there's a local store in Norwich, but I actually ordered it online because I needed next day delivery and they were able to provide that. So already thumbs up to PMT for getting next day delivery for me. So fantastic. Um, it arrived exactly in the gap when they said, again, really good positive opinion so far. Um, yeah, so this is the box, pretty undamaged other than the fact where I've ripped off the sellotape because I'm a moron. Um, yeah, so let's open it up, have a look inside uh, and see what we've got. Well, I mean, obviously I know what it is, but some of you might have guessed. Get my knife in, gotta have one of these. My dad gave me this, had it for like 20 years. Anyway, put that there, make sure I pick that up later before the kids come home. So opening it up again, box is looking good, no damage, I love that, throw that away. Here we go. Okay, nothing else in there? Nothing else in there, just an empty box. Put it that way. Cool, so this is what we got. One of the main reasons I ordered this specific one is because I needed a gig bag with it and this came with one. So that's a big plus. It looks like a pretty decent gig bag. Uh, yeah, zip works, that's always nice. But it's yeah, it's quite nice quality. Obviously, you can probably guess by the size what it is. I'm keeping you on tent hooks though if you haven't. Let's open it up. Nice, yeah, it fits really snugly in there. It's a nice padded case as well. I'll hold the case up so you can see. But there's a little bit of padding in there, so it's not super, super flimsy. I've had many a worse case. We've got a little bit of gumph in here about Fishman. So you can, as you can probably guess, it's one you can plug in. So it's got like a little instructions there. So that's really, really, really cool. In, in, anytime you have an inbuilt tuner, it's happy days really, isn't it? I'll put that back in there for no other reason than why not. So yeah, nice case, has a little bit of a Fender logo on there. Double, I don't know anyone small enough to wear this on their back, but maybe if I make it super wide, I can fit it on. Oh. Yeah, it's not getting on both my shoulders, but I can make it over one. Uh, yeah, cool, I like that, that's nice. Let's get on to the more important bit. Plastic band, throw that away as well. I'm gonna have a lot of mess to clear up. So here we go. Here it is, oh, can't get it out of the bag. Here it is, kind of, here it is. Okay. Oh, it looks really, really cool. That's a really nice finish. It's got kind of a satin feeling neck, which is nice. I, I haven't bought a new guitar for so long. None of my guitars have a satin neck, so that's quite. A, that's actually quite a nice finish. I love the four and one side headstock, like a actual Strat or something like that. Um, yeah, oh, it's got that beautiful smell of new guitar though. Oh yeah, it's kind of beautiful and horrible all at the same time. Lots of gumph on here, so Fishman on board, we know that already because I've already mentioned that. Uh, okay, warning cancer and reproductive harm, people don't know what that's about. Free online lessons of Fender, we know about that. And something else, right, cool. So yeah, really, really nice looking. The finish in the top is surprisingly nice. It looks really cool on the back as well. So yeah, initial initial feeling is, looks really, really good. Oh, there's probably some silicon in it, so let me get those out. Throw away, do not eat, good advice. Throw them away over here. And the pile of rubbish I've created. Cool, looks fantastic, I'm guessing it's not in tune. No. Okay, so let's get it tuned up and see how well it plays. Let's actually try the tuner. Look, you've got the Fishman there. You can see that. So we've got a volume, bass, middle, treble. I'll just put everything in the middle to start with. And then the tuner button. Let's see if you can see. I'll put it that way around so you can actually read it. There you go. So that's really cool. So we'll probably speed up time as I tune it up here. Just a little aside, just as I start, look. Works really, really well, really clear. So fantastic, let's get it tuned up. Okay, so that's all tuned up. That was really, really easy. It was actually, the E string was already in tune. 
So absolutely fantastic. Thumbs up to that. Sounds really nice. Tuner. Yeah, tuner is fantastic, very, very easy to use. I mean, I, I'm not, don't, not got a perfect pitch or anything, but it sounds good enough for me to use. Uh, absolutely, yeah, really impressed. So the, I think the price for this was 100, just under 150 with the case. So a little bit more expensive than probably a starter one. Obviously, I've played a bit of ukulele for a while and needed to get a proper one, really. Um, but yeah, and I have to say, in conclusion, um, fantastic service by PMT, got it here on time. The delivery driver, DPD, got it exactly when they said and it was in good nick, the box wasn't damaged at all, so fantastic. Yeah, the actual, there's, I mean, normally you see people and they're like, oh, there's three dings on the, but I really, I really can't see anything on this that, that uh, sure there's probably someone who, who would pick up on the odd little bit, but uh, I'm not quite so precious as that and I can't see anything on here that that would warrant that kind. There's a, uh, the tiniest, tiniest brown mark on the, the binding right there, but I don't care about that at all. Um, I th and that's all I can really find. I mean, for the price, it seems pretty decent. It plays really nicely and easily. The satin feeling neck is really, really nice. The case in itself would be, what, 15 pounds, 20 pounds? probably uh, anyway and it fits perfectly as well so and then you've got the option of actually plugging it in which is great because I do a lot of online lessons so I needed one that I could plug in as well so it's another reason to to get that but yeah I have to say pretty impressed so those are my conclusions hopefully uh, you'll find this video useful I have to say I'm very impressed though by the whole process um, and it feels and sounds great so far Um, but yeah, I'm going to have fun playing this, definitely. I'm going to have to put another peg up on my wall. I don't know where it's going to fit, though, because I've got the mandolin one side and the, and the boys um, the other side, which is where one of my sons demanded it goes. Happy days. But yeah, very, very, very impressed. I definitely recommend it. I would say, though, if you're starting getting your first ukulele, it's obviously a bit too expensive, and unless you're willing to spend £150 on a ukulele. But from what I want... It's, a, it's obviously the, the bigger size, which is what a, a tenor, sopra, a t not a, yeah, soprano is the smallest, then it's concert, and then it's tenor. So this is a tenor one, because it's got the longer scale length, but it's got standard tuning. Um, so that was something I wanted, and also it needed to have this so that I could use it for teaching online lessons. So again, that's another reason why I spent more. Also, free delivery above £100, and it came with a case. So it made a lot of sense for me to get one like this and spend that little bit more. But yeah, thoroughly impressed, as I said before. On the other bit, there's really, there's a couple of tiniest, tiniest marks that don't bother me at all. There's no noticeable dings or anything on the wood. It looks really good. For, I mean, for the price, you know, if it was if it was a five grand instrument, I might be saying, well, there's a little tiny, you know, but I don't, for 150 pounds, plays nicely, uh, feel, it's, feels really good, sounds really good. So yeah, I'm very impressed, very happy. As uh, Probably see in, in a month or two when I've played it a bit, see what I think then. But yeah, at the moment, very, very impressed by the whole process and the actual instrument. So well done, everyone involved. So hopefully you found this video useful um, and help you pick out a really cool instrument for you to play. Uh, and uh, I'll say the usual bit, I'll say if you've enjoyed the video, please like the video, please comment, subscribe, all those things. The lighting's starting to get a bit iffy in here, so I apologize if it's starting to look a bit dark on one side of, of my face, because um, I've just got the light from the window, so my apologies for that. Check out my social medias. I'm just waffling now, which is something I try and not do. So. I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon for some more cool guitar stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.